things need to be pushed forward. They need to be provocative. They need to cause discussions. And there's so much to be said about British culture, past and present and future. And that's what I really embrace and aim for with Dunhill. We're in a time where everything is fluid, so it wouldn't make sense for masculinity just to be one thing. Artists should challenge that, should challenge the status quo, should challenge the stereotypes of what, what modern masculinity is. Dunhill was created in 1893. Alfred Dunhill was, I think, obsessed with innovation. That is what I think is at the heart of the brand as well. My vision for Dunhill really is about changing the perception of what a British luxury brand is, what it means today, that it has a relevance, that it still maintains the sense of quality, that it still maintains the sense of craft, but all in a very contemporary way. I wanted to create the Dunhill community to connect and to celebrate the creators and collaborators that I've had the fortune to work with. Moses was an artist and a sound that was coming out of London that felt thoroughly new. I knew we would do something together. Just that common passion came out in the conversation and now he is part of the Dunhill community. The relationship between fashion and music has always been important. I guess creative diversity and change to me go hand in hand. What is this image of a great British male in 2021, what does that look like? It's not one thing, it's a lot more fluid, it's a lot more open, it's a lot more diverse. Britishness is always changing and I'd love to see Dunhill represent that. I've collaborated with Mark and Dunhill on a series of music to their shows, to some of their films, from their launches and their pieces. It's a very open process. Me and Mark get together long before the show's formulated and we get ideas together. He shows me his mood boards and ideas and inspirations. And it's a constant exchange, exchange of me bringing my world to him, him bringing his world to me. It's something that's still got a bit of... Uh... Yeah. Funkiness to a bit, but you know, a bit of an energy. Yeah. I'm trying to sort of distill the whole vision in sound. I'm trying to sort of get all of those references and provide the soundtrack that makes it all make sense. I'll present him some ideas. See that, Habib? Yeah. And he'd be like, oh, yeah, I really like this part and why. And I'm like, okay, good, we're onto something. The Dunhill community in a way, does actually reflect a lot of where Dunhill's history has come from. To create something new and, and have a relevancy is that dialogue of questioning parts of Dunhill's history. Is it relevant? Does it feel right for now? Does it need recontextualising? I recently went to the Dunhill archive for inspiration. I came across a piece called a compendium. It was an accessory for a man in the early 20th century. Multiple elements and functions within it, but all housed within, within a kind of a, a compact case. But my fascination with the compendium from the archive was what does that mean today? And creatively, that was the idea of creating a parka that felt contemporary, but back to the philosophy of the compendium piece itself. When we create style here and the way I, I approach menswear, it, it's not singular. It's about having those reference points to feed into what we do and how we evolve pieces here at Dunhill. What Mark has done and has been very open about trying to honestly integrate with people that are pushing culture forward. To affect culture, you have to be a part of it in a genuine way. My contribution, I feel, has added something to that and helped change the perception in some way of the overall vision and look and idea and aesthetic of Dunhill. It's kind of only the beginning in where they're sort of going as a company and what I'm doing as an artist. My vision since joining Dunhill was to change the perception of what Britishness is and what it means now, to still insist on quality and to insist on representing what modern masculinity means today. It's about nuances, it's about acceptance, it's about individuality and how we support that and embrace that.